Why is Xavier and welcome to the invasion? I don't know what this is all about, but there is an invasion of experimental vehicles. I'm pretty sure they're gonna form the five of them together, some kind of Ultron robot. And things are gonna get crazy. Or maybe none of that'll happen. I don't know, I'm excited to find out though. Uh, in any event, what do I need to do here in this colony? We're just flying along, like everything is super, super, super good. Oh, the Hawking Institute. This is gonna be, oh, let's just zoom until that's done. I can't wait to see this. That's gonna be super awesome. Whoa, what the, what? Okay, well there's a meteor. Apparently didn't even break anything, just landed like right here, right in front of my face. here to show you that sensitive music is the perfect band-aid for your weary soul. All right, apparently Jamie's got his mouth shut and he's gonna play some commercials for us. Okay, there we go, much better. What do we get over here for food? We're up to 157 food. And we are just growing like madmen. Look at this actually. We got five botanists over there, five botanists over here. That's fantastic. Not even doing any water saving. Over here in this place, we got four engineers. Over here, we've got, geez, 14 engineers. Over here in the polymer factory, we got apparently another 14 engineers. That's crazy. Uh, down here at the rare metals extractor, we've got six geologists. Down here, we've got eight geologists. Apparently, my university's doing some good, huh? Just cranking out people. We've got 100% uh, capacity of everyone everywhere. We got six scientists over here. Ah, finally, we got only four scientists over there. We found a job that isn't 100% specialized. Let's look at the medical lab. That's four medical guys. How about the security officers? Amazingly, we've actually got eight of them. Boy, they're going to town, huh? Renegades in the dome, 22. So we're getting more and more and more renegades because I'm really not paying attention here. Let's do uh, entire colony. Wow, sanity is beautiful. I think what's happening is like some people are going insane from working outside of the dome and I'm not micromanaging that anymore. So that's why they're turning into renegades. Regardless, not the biggest deal. <clears throat> like we can manage that with all these, I think. Uh, you'll need more operational security stations to deal with renegade crime in the dome. Why is it telling me I need more of them? We've already got nine people dealing with 22. Uh, that To me, that seems really good. Building performance, 149. I don't know what this means or how it works exactly, but it seems decent enough to me. Anyway, let's swing over here. I want to get this thing done. We're uh, just 10 electronics and 10 concrete away. Another thing I should be doing is getting off of uh, having all these guys opened. I really don't need them. In fact, let's grab all of them or just control left click, shut them all down. Yeah, if they're closed, we're fine. Even at nighttime with the... With, oh, actually, no, we're not at nighttime yet. Uh, let's build another one, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, right over here. Another Sterling generator. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, even at nighttime, though, we're only negative 15 power. We have 3,000 reserves. That's insane. Why are we using more oxygen than before? I thought we were using 3.7. Oh, malfunctioning pipe must be it. Yes, that's why. All right, that'll get taken care of. We barely even need that second air pump, to be honest, but I'm scared to turn it off because then I'll forget and a disaster will come up and I'll have, like, zero oxygen and the whole colony's dead, Eso so... Corp stopped giving ah. us the silent treatment, but it's <clears throat> clear from their message they're not going to answer our questions. They propose a deal. We fix one of their malfunctioning rovers and they provide a generous, as they put it, funding injection. Their legal team has also warned that any mission should be strictly for repairs and further inspection of the vehicle will be taken as an illegal act. In other words, if we wish, we can send drones to fix their rover, but nothing can evaluate its purpose, like a rover, and will be paid for the effort. Malfunctioning Isocorp rovers can now be repaired by drones. Not suspicious at all. Alright, let's go see where they are. This one's the one I can't get to, unfortunately. So... <coughs> Let's see, pretty soon though, we're gonna have the, the next research, 28% is gonna be in the flying guys. The flying guys will come down here and, and fill this thing up and then I can just have a, a thing done come down there and put that. Oh, speaking of, I forgot about this, whoopsie daisy. Let's try to get that exactly, long. yeah, all my drones up here are being idiots, so no surprise there. Let's get this thing destroyed and destroyed and then let's come over here, tunnel. Looks like it's gonna be right there. So, okay, and it's gonna take some time, so we'll just go on fast motion or whatever. Come on, friends, rip it apart. There we go. So it was down here, and it was... I'm not exactly sure where it was, to be honest. Okay, this will suffice. We'll just throw it in. 
We'll just throw it in, and now we're going to have to actually wait for that Resources thing to get built, unfortunately. It's going to be a little bit of a while. Electronics are low now. Why is... Oh, probably because I just put 20 into the Hawkins Institute. Yeah, we got three more to get over there. How many drones do I have? I have 17 over here. And at this location, I got 18. And then the rovers, apparently... I think I can look down on the bottom here. They have five and four. That's actually substantial. Whoa, large solar panel was destroyed. Honestly, who cares? I don't even just get that out of there. <laughs> this little guy, get that out of there as well. I don't even want those things in there. What weird things to have, right? Okay, blow that thing up. This one, is it already getting removed? I don't know. No, okay, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <clears throat> Better than destroying the farm, that's for sure. Speaking of the farm, I never actually, this is at 100%. I never actually got around to doing wheat as the second crop. Just forgot about it. This guy, oh no, it's not supposed to be wheat. It's supposed to be potatoes. Wheat and potatoes back to back, soil quality 100%. Yeah, that's even more production then than we had before. Ooh! Hawking Institute for days, friends. Look at that cool thing. Look at this guy up there in the top of this thing. Don't panic, that's amazing. What a cool looking building that is. A little strange though. Ooh, look at this guy down there doing some sciencey things. Touching the keypads and whatnot. Uh, in any event, let's take a look at this guy here now. So if I click on the Hawking Institute, CO2 jet propulsion research, is that the same thing as here? Yeah, okay, so it's showing me the same thing. However, we can turn on the second work shift. Boy, is that amazing. How many scientists did we have there? I guess we had, okay, all the scientists came out of the other research lab, I guess. Collaboration loss 51. So if I destroy this, all of these guys will go work in this other one and we won't lose the, this thing has no collaboration loss. So I'm not really sure what I should be doing here. Holy. Building performance 103. Building performance 152. Power 5, power 1. This takes three times the power uh, and takes four times the electronics in presumably the same amount of time. I'm not really sure because this guy down here has 459 science per soul. And this one over here is currently only doing... Maybe it just needs to speed up here and get caught up because it's getting filled. How many people did I have that didn't have a job? Like, that thing just filled right up. That was crazy. Oh, I built another school as well. That's where all my electronics are going. Yeah, that makes some sense. All right, another thing. I probably got this guy over here put in. Yes, I did. That's fantastic. Let's put him on high priority. But now that I'm thinking about it, let's come over here. Should I actually start ripping these guys out? I should. Let's get this middle solar panel out, and we'll just put three more uh, Sterling generators right in there as time permits. Fantastic, get you out in the near, not too distant future. I can't believe how many people are working here. There must have been a million people just not having jobs because they're full everywhere. If that's the case, open that up. This is looking good. This is good. Do I need more electronics people? Maybe, I don't know. Sure, open that up. Can we get more machine parts? Sure, open that. Whew, they're filling up instantly. Holy. That's insane. <clears throat> well... Research per soul is only 566 for whatever reason. This one is still 349. So it's bouncing around. It doesn't seem all that... I don't understand. There's twice as many people working. Building performance is 66. I guess maybe if they had all, like, nothing but uh, scientists, it would be better. I don't know. We're low on food. I don't know. Static dust storm oh, approaching. my most hated arch nemesis, the dust storm. What is the deal over here in this tunnel? I guess we got our machine parts. We got our metals. We have not got our concrete, though. How much concrete are we producing? Probably not enough because I just built like 9,000 things. So when this dust storm hits, we're going to have double maintenance on batteries. We can probably survive without the, that many batteries because we have mostly sterling generators now. So let's put one in there. Fantastic. These guys are going to take machine parts, double machine parts, but that's fine because... Do any of these things really matter? Anyway, uh, machine parts, yeah, that's fine because we get tons of those things. It's going to shut off our water generations. Okay, because we are relying pretty heavily here on the moisture evaporators, but we do have some pretty good tanks. We got 900 water. However, let's say we had zero water. We would be losing 9 times 24 per day. I believe that's how that works. So we're looking at like 175, and this is where five days long. I guess we'd actually still be able to survive it, but it would be close, and I'm not super happy with it. One thing I wanted to do 
once we get these robots going, is actually work on bigger storage tanks. I think they're going to be more efficient in terms of maintenance anyway, so I kind of want to do this mega storage here, but that's not a, a, a thing I can do right now. Also, this uh, accumulator. I'm just going to have to wait for these things. They're coming along. We're working on the research. I think we'll be okay, though, as we are, especially because we have this guy down there working. So, But the thing there is, if I turn all these guys off right now, we'll actually save... <clears throat> I think we'll save on the uh, maintenance during the dust storm on them. So before the dust storm hits, that's when we're going to turn off all this stuff. So let's wait for 14 hours. Resources low on food. Beautiful. Even at nighttime, we've got a massive, massive amount of power. That's insane. That is super insane. I love how many uh, of these sterling generators Resources I have now. Low. No functioning pipes. Oh, actually, that one's out of our range. Let's swing down here a smidge and catch up to it beautiful we're always low on polymers concrete's really a big issue for sure all right three hours two hours one hour all right now let's grab all of these moisture evaporators and turn every single one of them off because they're gonna go off anyway grab all of our air things and turn all of those guys off and now we won't have to service them during the dust storm because they're going to be full on maintenance, all of them anyway. Uh, that, that's a weird loophole in the game, but that's how it works. Idle extract. Oh, my rare metals extractor extracted its last rare metal. Well, what do you know? Okay, rip it out, I suppose. Interesting. Never actually exhausted an extractor before. That's pretty interesting. Like... I'm interested in this. Would you guys believe it? Because I'm saying I'm interested in it over and over again. Does that make me interested in it? I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, let's do another uh, rare metals extractor over here. Uh, this looks like a fairly decent place for it. It's, how long is this drone range over here? Okay, let's try to get it right there if possible. So like one, two, three tiles to the left of this rare metals. Perfect. That is 100% perfect. It's away from the dome as much as possible. Uh, and we're good. Oh, uh, power. Right. Do, do, do. We can just run the power from here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. One thing I probably don't need. Okay, let's look at night. Okay, even at nighttime, we have 66 power. So I can probably save a bunch of maintenance by turning off half my batteries. Because they're just not necessary. So let's power these guys down. Power that thing. We probably don't need these things running like most of the time. As long as they're full when I power them down too. Yeah. Resources looks good. Are low. All right. Negative four oxygen, negative five water. But we've got 900 in the tanks. So I'm very glad I did that research before. Uh, this rare metals extractor. Let's turn that construction up there. Open up another work shift. And bam. People are coming out there. Like crazy to work in this place. Like crazy. Amplify came on. Fantastic. That thing's just pumping away. Production per soul five. Oh, 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 oh. We got my we got jet propulsion. New building shuttle hub. 15 polymers. Yes. I can't wait for that. However, we should probably wait for the concrete to come up here. I should I need more concrete. Like this is out of control. This one concrete is only gonna get 200 more. Maybe I should build a second one down here. Let's look at... No, I can't even get one in there. Unless I built my, my rover over here, which I can do. Where is my second rover? He's doing nothing, right? Let's bring him down here like that. Uh, once he's in position, let's go for a second concrete extractor. That's only going to be 148. This is 170. All right, let's do that one right there. What did it just say? It's out of drone range, but that's fine. Because we're going to get more drones. More drone range, rather. Can I do this? Yes. <clears throat> okay, I hope that's what I need. Looks good. All right, good. Uh, and should be good on the uh, batteries here as well as far as saving maintenance. I'm not sure how many batteries I left on, but I honestly don't really need any. I'm just going to shut them, shut more off. I just don't feel like paying the polymer maintenance on these things, you know? And if I don't need them, why run them? Might need to turn on a couple at nighttime, though. We'll see. I don't know how many I really turned off and how many I have. There's, a, there's no, like, simple, easy way to Resources see it, as far as I know. We're low on food because we only have 94. That seems insane to me. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is make sure... 
Okay, this guy can come over here and, and like help out with this, but he can't really deliver the resources anywhere. So what I'm going to need to do is throw down a depot of the concrete variety. We'll put it right here by the door, so at least that stuff can get delivered here, and then from there it can get pulled off other places. Now, for the, the jet hubs here, let's go look those things up. Jet propulsions. Where are my jets at? Well, it's a very good question, one that I can't seem to answer here. They must be under life support? No. Production? Nope. Power? Nope. It must be under infrastructure. Yes, shuttle hub. I don't want to build it just yet, though, but I could start laying the groundwork for it. Consumes a fuel. Okay. We probably want it generally... It doesn't really matter where that where it goes, to be honest. Ten power, one fuel, one electronic. The closer to the um, depot, I suppose, the better. Here is a little bit dusty. I could put it right here next to this thing. Ooh. Let's see if I can't stick it in here someplace. It can fit right there. Even blocking the tunnel. Will I be able to get through that tunnel at that point? I don't know. How about right here, actually? Yeah, I like that a lot. That seems to be a fairly decent place. Right in the right in the rings there. In we go. I don't want this thing to get built. Entirely, because it's just going to suck up resources and it can't be used resources during this storm. But I figured, you know, at least have it here, and then later we can turn it on. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, everything's good, even at nighttime. Even at nighttime, we're making 66 power because nothing's really running. So, you know, we don't even need any batteries as far as I can tell. I could turn all of them off and just save 100% maintenance on these things. Just don't need them. They're all full and none of them are being used. Whoa, the Phoenix Project. Nice. When people die, 50% chance they'll come back with traits. Let's check all the batteries here. Okay, pretty much every single one is off. Literally every single one is up. Not pretty much anymore. Literally every one. All right. Let's grab this. Make sure it's shut off before it actually gets built. Okay, we're, we're full on the electronics. We're full on the polymers. We got no concrete. These guys are coming up here to stock that, which is good for us. Phoenix Project is done. Low on polymers. Building's not working. Yeah, my water tank. Oh, why is that? Building disabled by lightning strike. All right. Well, that's completely random. Drone vehicles with low power. I'm not too concerned about that, really. That's just the guy down there waiting for a tunnel to get built for him. Let's uh, shut this shuttle hub off now so I don't forget about it, and let's worry about getting more concrete. There's still 248 up here, but it's going to be pretty hard to extract. I guess these two is really the best thing I can do, just wait for them. They're both up and going, so that's nice to see. Resources are low. Absolutely nice to see. Look at these drones go like crazy all over the place. Ooh, immortality of a kind. Achievement unlocked. Okay, I guess someone just died and came back, sort of. Well, that's good to know. How are we doing over here? Everyone's getting trained up. How's my uh, science stuff doing over here? So, 446, collaboration loss, 50. That's not bad. However, these are all, all researchers. Now, if I look over here at the Hawking Institute, 830. That's more to like it. So six, one, two, three, four, five. This has eight, 16 people, whereas this one has six. And this is still only producing double the science. Performance 130, performance 153. It seems like these little research labs actually do better. I don't really understand. I'm kind of disappointed in this building. It's just costing a lot, and I guess it's a place to put lots of people, but whatever. At least we get 2,000 science. Holy mother of goats. We're going to get behavioral shaping in no time. What did I unlock over? Oh, the factory AI. Factory upgrade. Uh, performance increased by 20%. Boom. Let's do that before the Martian strengths for sure. Although I do want those Martian strengths. This is coming along. We got all of our breakthroughs except the fungal farm, which I don't care none about. Yes. This is beautiful. I can't wait for that uh, spire as well. How are we doing over here now on concrete? This thing is getting done. We got 40 out of 80 thereabouts. We're gonna need to find more concrete because this thing's running low pretty fast. Is there any? Okay, there's some over here. How much? 1334 average. Well, people who aim for perfection Ooh. learn soon enough that it's a moving target. Guess Isocorp didn't aim high enough. Isocorp is having obvious issues with their mysterious rovers as they seem to be malfunctioning one after the other. Instead of admitting the faults in their predictions about the rough Martian conditions, the Isocorp team has sent us a message which, quote, 
gives the Martian colony command the rare privilege of sending one of our more analytical vehicles to look into the most certainly small miscalculation that causes these temporary annoyances, end quote. Furthermore, they go on to remind us that by choosing to analyze their broken vehicles, we have an understanding not to dig beyond an obvious logistical shortcoming in their design and agree to full and utter discretion. An anomaly has appeared next to a malfunctioned vehicle. An interesting opportunity presents itself. Oh, and that's one I can actually go research, too. I want to fix one of these drones. That one I can actually go fix, by the way. Uh, should I send this guy over there right now? Is he still functional, this rover? Yeah, he's just covered in dust. All right, let's come over here and fix him up and see what happens, because that's the first step. I don't want to research the anomaly yet. Drones with no controller, one. Where the heck is that? Oh, well, yeah, whatever. I don't know how the heck that guy even got down there, to be honest. Let's see what happens down here when we fix this up. Uh, view? What the heck? Oh, remote controlled vehicle. Okay. I th thought that I could fix it. But apparently not. Did I skip that part already? Maybe I did. Is there more someplace? Let's go look around here. I think that, yeah. Okay, I see another one right up there uh, next to this one as I click that button. Here's another one. This one, however, is not malfunctioned yet, but it will be soon. It's at 1% and 0%, I think. Okay, can you guys... Resources are no, I guess not. All right, well. All right, well, I don't know. Hey, by the way, this thing up here is going to need a lot of stuff. Okay, drones with no controller, I don't care about you. Resources low on polymers, always. Malfunctioning cables, one. Working on that right now. We still have one day in this dust storm. Dust storm? I don't even notice that it's happening, to be honest. Like, is there a dust storm right now? <laughs> Who cares? Sterling generator. Boom. More. More. I, I can't afford this as far as polymers, but we're making polymers like the wind, so that's fine. We're making 9.9. .9. That's beautiful. We're low on food with 96. Don't think so. Oh, God. Drones, no. No, do a battle roll. Whoo. That actually didn't hit any drones. Did knock this out, but we'll get that taken care of almost instantaneously. Wow. Oh, look at this little doofus running out there. That must be scary for him, right? Now, we need to get some metals over here to repair this thing. There we go. Taken care of. Everything's back up and at him. Beautiful. Question, though. How much longer? 150 more concrete. Well, we still got quite a bit. We got 100 rare resources over here. Rare metals. Malfunctioning cables, one. Oh, okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just swing down here a little bit. We'll take care of that guy. No problem. Hey, let's go get my uh, RC transport, I suppose. Swing down here and explore that anomaly. I guess I can't repair their things like I thought I could, but whatever. Maybe I missed out on my opportunity to do that. I don't know. Let's see what happens with this, though. Let's make sure this... Okay, polymers is done. Building's not working. Okay, that's taken care of. The dust storm is actually over, which is nice. I don't even see a real need to turn my batteries on because they're all full. So as long as I'm producing more power than I need, I mean, who cares? Now, they might go down on power because at nighttime, the, we were getting a ton of power from these uh, wind turbines Ooh, at night. Knowledge is a dangerous thing. Ooh. But there's a man out there who has so much of it that he can't be touched. A quick scan of the mysterious vehicle was enough to encounter several design flaws that made it comically ill-equipped for Mars. However, the scan also revealed a poor attempt to disguise the true nature of these rovers. Despite having remained a mystery so far, the effort to hide its military origin could not hold up under a close examination. These rovers seem, without a doubt, weapons most probably tasked to use Mars as a testing ground, setting an extremely dangerous precedent, among other obvious problems. By allowing us to analyze their vehicles, ESOCorp are also without a doubt issuing us a threat, and they seem comfortable enough with the notion that we will feel threatened enough to comply and keep our findings a secret. For, as ish... Really? And now I can't go shut this fool off? <laughs> Is there a mod to shut off commercial? And today, I hold a black belt. Does that make me a violent person? No. Karate is a self-defense system developed by Japanese Zen Buddhist monks. No wonder karate is a great way to develop your self-esteem. Time for the next song. 
Thank God. Anyway, by allowing us uh, for for an issue riddled, for as issue riddled as these rovers are, they are numerous and still back in the firepower to disrupt our colony, which has its hands full surviving Mars as it is. As cynical as this all seems to be, when it's taken into consideration that we have no military capacity whatsoever, and choosing to challenge them might put the lives of everyone on Mars in danger. This breaks all international, not to mention interplanetary treaties. We're going to expose it. I say we call their bluff and make them buy our partnership. I don't really want money from them. Our mission is too great to jeopardize this way. We'll weather it out just like we would a regular dust storm. Um, I'm feeling like I'm invulnerable. Like, I'm, I'm probably not. <laughs> but I'm feeling like I am. Let's expose it! Huzzah! Okay, there, that, that happened. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Oh, by the way, I need to now turn my uh, evaporators on. Let's turn all those guys on because we're low on the... Or yeah, we went down to 200 water. That's awesome. Turn all the my moxie generators back on as well. They're going to need all maintenance now after all of that. But there we go. An anomaly was successfully animized. Vehicles without power. Yeah, I know. We've been trying to work on this thing right here forever. Oh, by the way, now that the storm's over, I can finish my shuttle hub. Turn that on high priority. Get that 10 concrete over there. This tunnel is literally 8 concrete away. And all the drones are a little bit busy servicing uh, a whole bunch of things that need to get cleaned up here. Alright, well, fuel actually seems to be going down. But you know what? We can get probably more fuel or either build another fuel refinery. Or we'll do something about that in the near future. I don't know. We'll see. Just let the drones do their work here for a little bit. Five more concrete up there. Four more. Down here we still need ten. Looks like all four of those are en route. Here's our tunnel back up and at them. Boy, that meteor was just such a giant waste of money. Hey, speaking of, I'm thinking that uh, this drone never got put back up there where it needs to be to handle all this stuff. No functioning cable. That's going to get taken care of. Heavy drone load. We pretty much always have a heavy drone load over there, it seems. How about up here? Medium. Well, okay. Maybe just... Oh, no fuel for shuttles. Transportation problem. Well, there we go. Off they go. Woo! Our first ever shuttles, friends. They're going to go do all the things we need. They're bringing all the resources, resources out of here where I actually kind of needed them. <laughs> and now they're putting them someplace else. Wow, it took forever to turn on the, uh, the limitations there. I don't really need the polymer seeder. Let's get those off. Okay, looks good. Low on food. No, we're not. Got 102. We're good. All right, well, drone hubs are indeed, or the jet hubs, rather, are indeed working. Let's put them on high priority. It's done. Can we... We send uh -oh. the data dump we collected from Isocorp's rover to Earth. We mixed it with the atmospheric and topo topographical data of Mars, the basic stuff you'd base your rover design on. So we know we're safe from Isocorp digging it up even if they do intercept the transmission. Although this puts us at a momentary disadvantage, we're all proud to have done the right thing. This is the message we've sent to the power-hungry conglomerates back on Earth. We are leaving the old ways behind, and the future will not be built on our capacity for war. It is time to reveal this to our citizens and brace ourselves for whatever is to come. All right, now I think I can build more shuttles. I got three out of six shuttles. How do I make more? It takes five polymers per and three electronics. I can definitely build... I'm just going to queue up all three of them. That's fine. I did actually get these three things done, which is fantastic. Wow. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight startling generators. That's 80 power, with, even with all of them closed. If I were to open them, if I wanted to, we'd have 160 power just from them. That's insane. How's my research over here doing? 846. More researchers are pouring in. 439 over here with 49. And over here we got another 446. Apparently a collaboration loss. Contributes to the currently selected research. Okay, is there 433, 48? Oh, are these research labs... Is that between... No. Is that between the two of them? Hold on. Or do they just happen to be 151, 149? Do they just happen to be producing exactly the same? Well, I have enough scientists that if I kick these guys out, these guys will go move in there. And then I'm going to see, I think if I tear this down, it, it kind of saddens me to tear it down. Because we have produced an insane amount of research here over its lifetime. 44,000, but I'm going to rip it out. 
because I really don't think that we need it, to be honest. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Blow it up now. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, no more collaboration loss now. So that's nice. We had a cold wave incoming. That means we're going to need a lot more electricity. Well, wouldn't you know? I'm going to be ready for that. Behavioral shaping, friends. Sanatorium treats colonists flaws. Hell yes. The sanatorium shall commence. Look at this place. You go up there and have like a Jedi council on the top. That's insane. Why is that so ridiculous? Why are there so many homeless people? Has this been the case this whole... Okay. How many... How... Holy... Didn't... Oh, I got super... Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because as soon as people stop dying, that stopped being a problem. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Full, full, full. Full, full. And there's tons of homeless people. It didn't even say anyone was homeless on the thing. I wonder if that's new? Hopefully it's new. How many homeless people are there? Colonist, entire colony, homelet. Woo! A lot of homeless people. A lot. I'm gonna have to build another apartment. However, I'm building this sanatorium for 10 polymers. I guess we're gonna have to put that on pause for now. Because the apartment's just going to need to have to come in here. Uh, I meant to upgrade those a long time ago. We are, you know what, no matter how many polymers I try to have, we don't have enough. We just don't have enough. You know what I can do about this, though? Cargo rocket full of polymers. How many? 140 for six? Oh, wait, no. 140 for five, actually. I could buy 30. We'll have them in three days, but then there's a there's a cold wave. That's fine. We can land during that. Do I want to spend all my money on polymers to get through this? I could also use more um, sterling generators. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm just going to bring 30 of those in. So that's cool that we get that research, but it doesn't really help us until I can turn the thing on. So there's that. High priority on it once we actually get it going. I did have a bunch of drones queued up over here. Shuttle construction three. Can I actually cancel the ones that I queued? Right, cancel shuttle. Okay, how many do we actually have? Three. So I can cancel those to get my polymers back. Presumably. I'm not sure if they use them already or not. Uh, we don't super need these guys. I just wanted to have them. We can wait for the future for those. We will make one, though. We have five out of five there. Okay. This is Free Earth Radio 106.7 FM. Playing the songs that will take you from okay, so during the cold wave, we're going to need to turn this guy on, make sure he's running. We are currently really negative on the oxygen. Why? This building has malfunctions. We need metals to repair it. Oh, you know why? Is because we haven't had metals here for a hundred years. Because this guy was getting all our metals, and now he's coming back getting more metals. But he's doing it very slowly and very lamely. We're getting some over here from this place. Ooh, we are actually super full over here. Okay, didn't think about that. Let's do some more then. Like a super amount of uh, storage. Boy, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I suppose that's good. I might that's not, not have that one there. So as far as this is looking at, we're at 9.6. How many metals are we using? 7.2. We're barely making any profit there. Well, one thing I could do is rip out some of these solar panels that are using some of that. I have so many things off that use metals. It's kind of insane. Yeah, we don't have any metals, like, anywhere. That's the number one problem right now. How much do we have over here? Five, five, six remaining. Hmm... Where's our... Okay, we have a metal thing down here. That's average 800, but... That's scary. I guess I could put a drone hub down here. Don't I actually have one that I've had for, like, hundreds of years? No, I don't. I could build one, though. They're not that expensive. But anyway, I put one right here. It could w potentially service all of these things. Maybe hit this thing as well if I put it over there. And then, as long as I have subsurface heaters set up... You know what? This one's actually frozen, though, so... That's kind of lame. Boy, frozen, permanently frozen areas. Those are rough. Those are rough. You know what I could also do with these shuttle hubs? It's just have totally separate biomes other places. Like, we could have a thing over here. Then I could just run some random... If I run random pipes, though, we gotta service the pipes is the thing. I could just make a whole separate colony. A grocer destroyed? What are you doing? Stop it, you rebels. Let's rebuild that grocer. 
What the heck? I got nine security personnel, 23 renegades, no houses whatsoever. Boy, I've gotten myself into a mess, it seems. Will I have the electricity to get through this? I don't know. My air generators, if they're not... We're, we're getting low on the air, and if I don't get the metals to, to repair to them now... Oh. oh, you know what? This rare metals extractor we can blow up. That doesn't do anything anymore. But yeah, if I don't get the metals to repair to this thing right now... They're going to freeze. This one won't freeze because we can keep it heated, assuming this one gets the metals to... The, this heater gets the metals to turn on. <laughs> Which it probably won't, so that will probably freeze too. We're in for a world of nightmares, friends. Nightmares and horrors while a million people roam around homeless. Oh my lord. High priority, go. I'm just going to have to wing this. Cold wave. Nice. Little drone came in here and healed that one up at least. And they got that one going. Okay, good. So, we're short on the powder because I don't have a single battery online. I can fix that by turning on a single battery. So, there we go. The cold wave hasn't even started. Why am I producing so little power? I don't know. These guys... Yeah, I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, some of these batteries are probably going to... We're probably going to need to turn all the batteries on. Unfortunately, we don't have too much to do there. Now, I can immediately fix this power shortage by just opening these guys. So I'll probably do that for at least a few of them. Looks good. And there we go. Cold wave and a meteor storm all starting in exactly three hours. Building's not Resources working. Are yeah, low. we're working on that. Nice, it's getting repaired right now. We're low on electronics. No surprises there. Even though we have a f completely staffed factory cranking out as many as possible. Also, this is completely staffed, cranking out as many things as possible, and so is this. That's amazing. Everything is staffed. And over here, look at this. Still only 970 with 100% scientists. I don't get it. I don't get it. That was like barely double, or maybe... This is five. This is actually 530. Huh. Why is it 5.30? Okay, building performance says zero, because we're, we're going during the stopped work shift. But still, 530 for six people versus 970 for 16? Doesn't add up. Especially when they're all, like, good researchers. I have no idea. Anyway, there we go. It's now the morning before the solar panels come up. We're negative 10 on the power. However... Negative 32, we negative... Power oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Open, open. Everybody open. Put that back on high. Yep. Okay, once these guys get... We're just going to have to have all of them shortage. open. All of them open. I'm going crazy on this. Let's shut off the overdrive here on the metals extractor. Let's shut off the overdrive over here as well. Hopefully, hopefully, that needs maintenance before it can even run. It's going to freeze is my guess. Meteor incoming. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Where is it? Drone, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. Where is this thing? There it is. Luckily, it didn't actually break anything here. I didn't turn this guy on because he's frozen anyway, so who cares? I don't really need these pipes thinking about it now. So you know what? Let's actually just salvage that nonsense. Never needed those in the first place. Split life support grids. No, it's taken care of. Malfunctioning pipes. That's right here. And frankly, I don't even need that, I don't think. Not sure, to be honest. That one piece of pipe. I think if I delete it, though, something bad will happen. So let's just let these guys repair it. Looks good. Malfunctioning cables. That's over here. That'll get taken care of. I'm worried about this thing freezing to death. Put that on high priority. For now, hopefully it gets... It doesn't really matter. <coughs> If it does freeze, like I don't, I don't, I have 106 rare metals, so not a big deal. Negative 23 during the day, mind you. So we're gonna have to grab all the batteries, turn them all on, every single one, and we're gonna have to blow through crazy amounts of polymers to turn uh, to get them running for maintenance. Good lord, good lord, it's painful. What else am I forgetting here? I can maybe shut one of these guys off, save some power. We're at negative 23 during the day. During the day, mind you. 
with all of our guys open. Every one of them. Make sure every one of them is on high priority as well. Well, I could build some more wind generators because I do have an infinite amount of machine parts. That seems like a logical thing to do. We got wind turbines. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. All right, wind turbine, wind turbine, turbine, turbine. Beautiful. Let's put another one over there, another one over here. I'm just going to go crazy with this nonsense. Beautiful. Grab all you guys. High priority. Awesome. Domes without power over there. That's not good. Now it's just a matter of letting the drones get caught up here. I'm hoping this guy can handle himself. Yeah, he's coming back fine. Drone heavy load. Five days in this cold wave. 11 buildings not working, but you know what? I, the drones are on it, friends. They're on it. Yep, this thing did get taken care of. It is working now. I'll put it back to normal priority. The only things that are frozen are nothing. So we're actually fine on that front. And the power issue is taken care of for right now. Once the sun goes down, though, it's going to be a different story, depending on how many batteries we get taken care of or uh, maintained before the morning. Looks like not enough yet. We could shut off, like, the university or something. No, you know, at nighttime, that comes off anyway. You know what the thing is, though? At nighttime, sure, the solar panels go down. But so does, like, a lot of the buildings don't get used. So we'll see. We're at negative 12 right now. There we go. They're all off. Negative 56. That's not even that bad. Yeah, and once these guys come online in, like, two seconds, which they just did, we're good. We are good. I got worried for nothing. We're still a little bit negative, but, you know, tomorrow, once all these things are running, we'll be fine. Low on polymers. I realize that, yes. We have been cranking out polymers. Just, I cannot believe how many polymers I have honestly used. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, run. Woo. Do a barrel roll, little buddy. Do a barrel roll. Nice. All right, you can just go back to doing whatever it is. You I like how it, like, it automatically just does whatever. That's super awesome. Just get itself taken care of. Now, can I uh, can I still get paid to repair these guys? I don't think so, right? Remote control property. Waiting for repairs. Empty. I never could have done it in the first place. It's, I mean, as far as I could tell. I couldn't do it with the drone, and I couldn't do it with the rover, so... All right, well, this thing down here at some point should get filled full of stuff. When it does, we can get uh, a drone down there to build that tunnel down to the east side where we can do a little bit more exploring but otherwise is this frozen oh yeah it froze because i left it off at night whoops forgot about that so that's going to be off this guy's going to be off as well that's going to be actually a ton of power savings in fact we're making huge amounts of power now even those guys i'm going to turn this on not that it matters so when i turn it on later it's going to be good it did freeze but that's my own fault. Everything else is looking fine. We're going to get right through this. Now, as far as power or water goes, producing 9, demanding 11. We're good here, good there, good here. Good there, good here. Good here. Is this one broken? No. It's fine. Oh! It got destroyed! By the... Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, let's, uh, let's rebuild it then. Put that on high priority. Nice. New anomaly. Ooh, free science for us. Let's grab this explorer, get out there, scan that guy up. Unfortunately, we need to get concrete down here, but that's going to be... I just have to wait for the drones to fly it out. Are they going to actually fly it out like smart? Yeah, look, they're, they're bringing it out. That's super cool, and these guys are putting that in, and that's just getting done. Perfect. Uh, another thing we need out here for sure, though, is going to be a uh, motor sight. So let's go sight, sight. We have a water shortage. Sight, 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 sight. We shouldn't have a water shortage. I've got plenty of water. We got, oh wow, we went, we got down to 60 water actually. Malfunctioning cables. That's right there. We're working on that. Meteor storm for eight more hours. I'm actually pretty happy. We got this little anomaly. Uh, research, we're at 72% here on whatever it was we were doing. I kind of forget. Ah, the factory AI. That's super exciting. Super exciting. All right. Ooh, I just saw a new thing I unlocked. Didn't even realize I had unlocked something. Residential building upgrade, home collective. Increases the service comfort of the building by 10. So we can upgrade our homes. Residential building upgrade. Okay, so is that just every home? Just extra service comfort? That's 15,000 science, so that's kind of a lot. 
So far, there's been no backlash from uh, me telling those guys bad news, but whatever, Anomaly I guess. Analyzed. What do we pick up? 1,200 free science? Sure, let's come back here before we're destroyed. Because that's always a concern with those guys sitting out there. Look at this. This is amazing. 10 polymers now? I really still want more of these guys. I want to build the extra two of them. How's our homeless situation going? Well, looks like we actually still have kind of a lot, even after filling that up. Didn't think about that. All right, so entire colony homeless. There's a, another renegade. We've got a lot of homeless. By the way, this thing didn't get... Okay, let's do the sanatorium first. And let's come back over here and actually cancel those two drones. Uh, and then that way we'll get this thing done. I don't know... We just need more space. But I don't have a single place to put more of more apartments without moving other stuff. Yeah, there's nowhere to do it. Without bulldozing something. So, I could upgrade both of these guys, but that's going to be a little painful. I think they're just going to have to not have homes for a little while. Research I don't want to bulldoze. Nice, nice! Anomaly analyzed, fantastic. Factory AI, factory upgrade, factory all, or AI rather, performance increased by 20%. How much does that cost? Five electronics and two machine parts. Let's go for it. Absolutely go for it on all of these things. Factories for days. Does that, does that count the fuel as well? Yes, it does. Amazing. All right, let's do that. We can easily afford all that stuff. That's pretty much every factory we have, I believe. Uh, let's go check the research now. We're working on... Oh, what do we unlock? Extractor upgrade. Fueled extractor. Production increased by 30% as long as the building is supplied with fuel. Okay. That sounds really awesome as far as getting more metals. Probably better than Martian-born strength, if you ask me. Plus, it's a little bit easier. Uh, we're getting 1,786 research per day, so that's going to be like four days for this. That's not even bad. Meteor storm's over in zero seconds. Drone load's full. Shuttle heavy load. Yeah, we're working on all of these things. Or at least I'm pretending that I might work on them one day. I'm sad. There's so many people who don't have jobs. You can see them wandering around. But the thing that I'm really worried about is the homeless. I could move these things, like, over here and there. That would work. And then I could... No, I can't, because this is another... This is a uh, an entrance point, so... I can't do anything there. All right, over here... Can't move these things. There's two entrance points there. That's unfortunate. I'm your host, Jamie Holland. Okay. History repeats itself. I just don't see a solution to this. What was cool in the oh! Was totally lame in the 70s. You can build single houses then, right out of the blue, the very with smart homes. The very same shoes shoot right into style again. And that's 7,000. Let's do that. Here's another tune for Take three and a half days or so to research it. Then we can build individual houses. Let's check on the colonists as far as sanity or whatever goes, morale. Uh, we want to see not the homeless. Actually, you know, we do want to see the homeless. So they're not having, like, a huge amount of comfort. But, you know, they're not going insane just yet. So maybe this will work in three days. Because we can build small little three-tile houses with those smart homes. That's the solution, I think. Let's take a look over here at the sanitarium. Okay, we got all our polymers in there. Which means over here, I'm probably good to queue these guys up now. We got one, two... I am going to blow polymers research or uh, maintaining the actually I'm not even going to do that because I'm going to shut these down after this cold wave and that's going to be over in two days three machine parts stolen from serenity one well that was over here I guess we have renegades over there in addition to over here apparently so many people can't even find jobs it's ridiculous <laughs> I just there's nothing to do during a cold wave just everyone relax relax and have fun times Come on, sanitarium. I would love to get people in there. That's going to be awesome, actually. Oh, my rocket's here with 30 more uh, polymers. That's good. I really didn't need to turn all my batteries on, apparently. Uh, I could have survived with most of them offline. Not sure why I even have this stuff all heated. I mean, I probably don't even need it heated, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. 
All right, concrete here is what I really want to see. Sanatorium to the stratosphere. Oh no, a building ran out. I'm going to guess which one is it. Really, that little one ran out. Wow. Okay, depleted. Sure, well, rip it down then. This guy's still going, but only for 21 more. Then I'm out of concrete. Woo, we're getting to the end of uh, being on our, uh, being safe in our little stable colony. We're going to have to venture into new worlds, friends. New worlds. Please get that sanatorium together. Like, really badly. I need that. I love having all these drones. Six out of six. Beautiful. They're just flying around, putting things up. Whoa! What the heck? That just landed right here, but honestly, that doesn't really do anything besides cut off my polymer factory, which is really bad. But the drones are working on it, I'm sure. We have, like, no additional metal income right now. This guy, apparently, is charging up, and he just delivered some metals right there. Fantastic. Please get this one more concrete. One concrete. Also, my rocket's ready to launch if I want to. I suppose no reason not to, so see you later. And there we go. The sanatorium is complete. The Jedi Council shall commence, friends. Can we treat Renegade? You cannot, actually. Okay, didn't realize that with this. I kind of might have went overboard on it then. Let's do a two work shifts. Treat, I'm not sure which one of these is the worst. So they show me the trait, but I can't see what they actually do. Hmm. Let's put that on high. 20 power, two polymers, wow. So Glutton will help us with food. Chronic condition, that's going to be... Okay, Melancholic is actually for uh, production type stuff. I, don't, I think Alcoholic's hungover. I don't think Gambler matters too much. Not sure. Lazy. Let's get rid of the things that produce uh, lower work. All right, good. Wow, we only have one person? Really? In the whole, in the whole, whole place? Nope, there we go. There we go. Hey, guys, come on in. Nice. Uh, however... 25% here on our smart homes. And even once I get those going, they only like only four people can move in, but that's not gonna be a that's not gonna be a solution. Wow, I got 39 polymers. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and bulldoze these houses and put in apartments. It wouldn't take too long. Woo! Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Pause, grab you, delete you. Great. Come over here. Apartments. Make sure you're centered. Okay, right there. Beautiful. Get this guy. Click him. High priority. 35 concrete. We're going to be almost out of concrete in the near future. I'm going to have to build another one over there. However, that means I'm going to have to... Well, once this thing's done, I can move the drone. You know what? I can actually move the drone now. Is this thing actually done? Depleted. Yep, it is done. All right, rip that thing out. Rip this out. Beautiful. Get this guy. Swing up, Peter. Uh, let's keep going, though, while this is happening. We'll come over here to do a concrete extractor. Something like this. 2,000... That is so bad. 222 seems like the best we can do right there. Let's do that. Uh, and let's get a bit of the old power cable. Now, if we connect... Hmm. There's no, like, super easy way to do this, really. Uh, I can't really go around these things, or can I? I guess I can come up from here. All right, let's do that. That's not too bad. And then let's get a little... Uh... A site for these guys to throw off all of their uh, garbage of sorts. And lastly, we're going to need a storage of the concrete variety somewhere down there. All right, so we can get that taken care of, but here's the... Okay, nice. We can barely hit over that, hit over that. Good to go. You guys should work on that, no problem. Woo! All right, this thing getting done soon? Yes, 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 maybe? Please? Two more concrete. There we go. Going to take care of some of those homeless, but not all of them. Watch how fast this building populates, right? As soon as it gets done. Boom. Instantaneously filled with people. All right. You guys now. Your turn. Your turn. Woo. This is so ridiculous. Okay. Destroy that. Great. Come over. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Like, just bulldozing houses where people have no other place to live. Massive oversight on my part, but what are you going to do? Speed up. Good. Wrong button. Apartments. There. Boom. Done. Grab this guy. High priority. Good. This thing's now working. Fantastic. I don't, actually, I don't want to do that because this costs two polymers. And it's just going to increase the time we get it. It's not going to give us more resources as far as I understand. 
All right, well, we got more concrete, not very much. Ah, the cold wave has subsided at long last. Subsurface heater, you're out of here. You are out. Who's not working? We got the water tank for maintenance. We have a grocer, which apparently needs food. We do have 146 food. It feels to me like we're short on drones again. Drone hub low. This one over here, heavy. Yeah, well, uh, we can finally turn these guys back on. Fantastic. Extractor for days. Extractor. You guys can find some work now at long last. This water reclamation thing, we don't really need it on. Well, wouldn't hurt to have it on, to be honest. I could have had it on the whole time on low priority. I mean, sure, why not, right? It's going to take more machine parts to maintain it, but whatever. Could put another security... Ooh, look at that. Full security detail. Speaking of, I should probably sometime soon research this emergency training here for security officers and medics. But I need to get that smart home done for my stragglers. your host on the air. I'll give you million-dollar tunes that are just too good to be true. Mm, I don't think I need me a million commercials. In a competitive universe, yeah, well, what do you know? Okay, let's go to the official Mars channel. A little uh, Panna Masculine, whatever the heck her name was. You know, I haven't heard in a long time is Kim Tae. Kim Tae Anderson. He used to be one of the best. I have so many people who don't have jobs. It's ridiculous. Maybe what I need to do is just get a dome somewhere else. And now that, now that we can fly people there with the shuttle hub... Not a bad idea. If I could find a good warm place, maybe uh, over here we get concrete. Rare I want metals more than anything. Down here we get double concrete, but I haven't even built that thing yet. That's gonna get built once this thing gets filled. I'm not. I'm not sure if the game is smart enough to know like, oh, you need stuff, and then they fly it over or not. It seemed like that was the case over here for this stuff, but I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works. Uh, and for right now, these guys are kind of busy up here handling all... Actually, you know what? Can this guy... That guy can handle all of that, so I don't need this drone here or rover here at all. Let's get this rover down here and see if this works out, if we can start building this tunnel here. How many metals are over here? That's an average 796. I suppose all I really need is one water and a bunch of electricity to get the one heater here to heat the whole area if I wanted to. I could put a little mini dome there and have an extractor, but then all it's going to extract is that one metal. Which isn't really all that fantastic. Yeah, these guys are indeed. Look at that. They are dropping off this stuff. What a bunch of smart drones. That's super. You know what this means? Oh, no. Five machine parts stolen from Genesis 2. That's a lot. I think you can treat Renegades later on with the technology. I have no idea. Either way, this is going to get done at some point as a result of this. Then we can come down here and explore. Where is the next best place to set up an off-platform colony. Well, up here we have two metal, rare metals, and one good metal. Another thing I could do is just do deep deposits. No fuel for shuttles. Oh! That actually happened! Resources are low. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to happen. But it did. Another fuel refinery is what we need. We can easily afford this. It's just one more water is the thing. Where do I want to put it? Any old place is fine. I'm thinking right here in the midst of all this. This is a good place. Uh, just easier to get the fuel around all the places that need it. Fantastic. Put that on high priority. Boy, there's just one issue after another. Still have a hundred food in the games like, you don't have enough food. No fuel for shutters. Dr uh, drone heavy load. Building's not working too. That's Research the machine complete. parts factory. It looks like it's working to me. Nice! We got the smart home! Yes! Three electronics and a little bit of concrete. Let's go throw some of those guys in, shall we? It's over here in life support. No. Storage? Life support? Domes? Storage? I have no idea where it is. Mega dome? Do we unlock the... Yeah, we must have unlocked the mega dome technology. Here we go. Smart complex. Now, this is the normal, tr like, triangle. But smart home has a space for four people. How many colonists do we have that are homeless? Actually, just one. So with that being the case, this one smart home will be enough for us. Where do we want to put it? I'm thinking right here. Our very, very first smart home with, like... Where do I want his, uh... I think, I, you know what, we can have his pool facing out back uh, towards the towards the area back there. Nice. Get that on higher priority to get it constructed. We have no more homeless, friends. No more homeless. Concrete's a concern for sure. Get these guys out of here. This is pretty much taken care of over here. Oh, wait, why is that undestroyable? That's weird. I guess, oh, I guess I don't have a drone that can reach down there is the problem. I see. And then as far as research, we're back to fuel constructors, but we have unlocked gravity engineering, the mega and mega trigon domes. Wow. 
I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that, but also the comfort here from the home collective. There's so many old things I want to do at this point that we could do really quick, but we I really feel like I need to do fueled extractors to increase what, what we're... Wow, we got three geniuses? Holy. That's insane. 1,800 research a day. So much. When we started this, we were getting like 500 or something like that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Power is no concern. We have more than I could shake a stick at. Let's grab all these guys and shut them down then. Yep, don't need those open accumulating maintenance for no good reason. Funding received. Picked up 600 million, apparently from depositing some uh, metals that I didn't necessarily want to sell, but we did sell, so that's good. Look at this, this is so cool. How are my guys getting treated over here? I have no idea. Melancholic, alcoholic, lazy, lifetime cured eight. We've already cured eight, that's insane. That's super awesome. Let's open this up and go to look at colonists. Oh, wait, no. Is that the right, right way? Mm, what's the best way to do this? All traits? Can I look at flaws? It might actually be easier to go to domes. Click on a dome. Okay, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Oh, you know what? Let's actually do it this way. Close this. Click on this dome. Click on this filter. There we go. Look at flaws. Okay. So we can treat chronic conditions. I think we can treat lazy. We can treat glutton. We can treat these gamblers. 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when visiting a casino can be caused by sanity breakdowns. Interesting. Hypochondriac. Whiner. Renegade. Melancholic. Increases performance penalty when low morale. Loner. Loses comfort every day while living in a dome with population over 30. Well, that's probably every single person then in the whole colony. Coward. Double sanity loss from disasters. What's my next dome? Look at all the things we have to cure. There's so many problems. Look at 10 gluttons, 8 hypocond. Everyone has flaws up the wazoo. But we're cleansing them. And while we're cleansing them, we're growing the next generation of yous. Actually, we're not because they're all done. We have no more yous. Which means I actually have three schools doing literally nothing but consuming maintenance right now. Let's shut all three of those guys off. Anyone in the university? Yeah, plenty of people in the university. That thing's full. Wow, look at this. There's just apartment high-rises all. Well, this is like a right and proper city right there. Except for the fact that all the kids grew up and it must be really weird living in a place with no kids. Huh, strange. This thing apparently needs, what? How did my, did I destroy this? I think I destroyed my water reclamation building by mistake. That wasn't, did I, I must have done that instead of putting on high priority? No, that can't be right. That seems insane. Who knows? Who knows? But I do know this. We're about to get ourselves uh, another little tunnel over here in the next episode. Water oh, water reclamation system destroyed by Shepherd number one. Freaking renegades. Always re rebelling. It's weird that you don't have a way to cure them, except for, like, killing them in a dome by starvation. But, you know, they still do work, so who cares? Who cares? Boy, look at all this concrete that I've got all over the universe here. This is pretty cool. I, I suppose uh, I really wanted to see what the next step here of the evolution of this storyline was. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to control them. I don't think so. Faced with a tough choice. Okay, I guess we took care of that. I, it's unfortunate because I could have gone down there and repaired them all and gotten money, but I didn't really realize that you had to do that before the next anomaly step. Or maybe I couldn't have ever done that in the first place. I have no idea. Waiting for repairs, remote control vehicle. Yep, empty battery. Probably not going to repair that guy. Yeah, I don't know where the next uh, biome is. Maybe up here because we've got a average rare metal. Very low. This is low. Now, those aren't very good, to be honest. I want more metals than anything. Maybe the plan is deep scanning. It's only 4,500. I mean, that'd take two days. You know what? Let's do that right now. I'm just kind of curious what happens. And let's speed up really quick and just blow through that. I think we can go through two days in no time flat. Another thing I should probably do... Do I need these batteries on? Perfect monument. Shortage. No, we don't. We have 177 food. Fuel for shuttles. Let's upgrade this guy here. We got plenty of com components for that. Definitely need double fuel all the time. Oxygen and water are getting restored. That's fantastic. Ah, my polymers thing is not getting done because it doesn't have fuel, right? Because it's getting... F drones are fighting over the fuel. So I definitely, definitely needed more fuel production, that's for sure. Let's also put the priority there a little bit higher. That did get upgraded, so 14.4 times 2. We should be good on that now. Your first radio host choice with the best radio voice. Resources are low. Low on concrete. Yeah, we've only got this one up here. And he's working on 186 more, and that's it. Ooh, I want this tunnel to get done. But it's going to be a while. 
so many drones flying out there. Okay, fuel is getting taken care of. Polymers are getting produced. That's good. These things are all shut, not using maintenance. Should I shut my batteries off to save on polymers? Probably yes, because I don't think I really Vehicle even use them, low. to be honest. Let's shut every single one we off. Have a food shortage. Colonists keep starving of food, but... Ah, there's too many people living here and not enough grocers. Right, the grocers are completely full all the time. Completely full. Every square inch of this colony is filled. So we can't have another grocer there. I could build another grocer over here, though. Let's indeed throw that in while I'm thinking about it. Second one right there looks good. Probably double grocers would make sense. I was going to move that diner over there, but then I never got around to it. I could destroy the nurseries because we get no kids right now. Put another grocer over there. That could work. This one's also super full, pretty much, I think. Today, 22. Today, 32. Today, oh, it's back down to one because the day set over. Okay, this thing keeps running out of fuel, but we do have the fuel. I feel like I just don't have enough drones at this point to deliver everything. No, actually, we got low low load over there. Oh, look at this guy still here trying to deliver that resource. Only medium load over here. We're fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. That's fine. Vehicles with low power. Oh, he's going to have to go charge up. He's only at 13%, so let's swing back here really quickly. That won't take too long. Yeah, this thing is almost filled. We'll have a whole new frontier. Okay. Drone heavy load. No fuel for shuttles. Feels like the even with this current situation, we don't have enough fuel. So what I might need to do is yet another fuel. Yeah, there we go. Another fuel refiner. Where do I want to put this one? I have no idea. Woo! Hey, friends. Maybe, like, right here. Seems like a good enough place to me. It'll be automatically connected in every way. This is amazing. There's stuff everywhere. By the way, tunnel? Resources are low. Nope. We're lacking like six concrete or something for this. Why does it feel like the game is paused right now? It's not. We just need concrete down there. We only have five concrete. They stole three food. Research we have 208 complete. food. Select a sector to scan. Yay, deep scanning. We got it. Amazing. Select a sector again. I want to rescan my area here. Looking for deep deposits for sure. Can I? Do I still have my uh, my towers or whatever the heck they were? Okay. How far? How fast does this get rescanned? Scanning 85%. Sensor tower boost 285%. So one thing we can do. Since these things are free after we build them, the sensor towers, and they don't cost very much, we could just crank these things out. Just put three of them over there. I could probably spread them out more and get, like, slightly better bonuses, but whatever. That is fine. We are golden Sector's in every home. imaginable way right now. Wow, I'm probably wasting too much uh, on my wind generators, but whatever. Ooh, 58 polymers. Is it time? Is it time, actually, to come in here and begin the whole new startling generator uh, construction? I do believe it is. Let's get all of those guys out. No more metals maintenance for you guys. All right, destroy. Sector scanned. I'm assuming we found nothing because I didn't see any pop up there. Okay, another generator. Oh, look at this. Look at this. One, two, three, four. That's 48 of our polymers. Let's do like. We blew the whistle on Aha! Uh -huh. And every news agency on Earth sunk their teeth right in. This, is Mars this ought to be interesting. Pan -Am Yay! Pan Am Masculine has to interrupt my over my text narration, and I can't stop it. Dear Pan Am, I am delighted to hear that And it's going to be a long, long narrative too. You will inspire your listeners to examine thrilling realms across space, time, and matter. You are always welcome to a full-time position on the faculty here if you ever return to Earth. Take care, my friend. Love always. Dear Professor Lincoln, I don't know what to say. Please roll the next dog. <laughs> I really needed to listen to her, like... <laughs> uh, anyway, I, apparently I could have prepared them still, but I don't know how. I sent a guy down there with, a ro with everything. I couldn't do it. But regardless, governments and international organizations are furious with ESO Corp's subterfuge and forbidden military experiments, and people were fast to dub the scandal Marsgate. As the blame game is unraveling, we can't help but notice that all channels ESO Corp barely used to communicate with us 
now been totally wait, us have now been totally taken offline. Our sponsors from Earth are promising us compensation and guaranteeing protection from Isocorp, but we fear they may not be able to help fast enough if Isocorp decides to take re re revenge. That's being said, you will have to take part in an upcoming UN trial as the main witness to this whole gruesome affair. Oh no, I didn't repair a rover. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna. Apparently, I'm in a freaking law journal or some such. Uh, I suppose. Sector's God, gone. things are coming along. This is just fantastic. We're scanning for deep resources. We're not finding them. This thing down here is literally half a concrete away. Is this it right there? Is this it right there? That's it right there. Come on, little buddy. We have new frontiers. New frontiers. Let's Another get our... Ex Ooh. Holy bananas. What did I just find? Sector C0 skip. What did I just find? What? I don't understand. Why is it showing me? Oh, it's right. Woo. Woo. Deep underground deposits of metals can be exploited by a... That is literally the perfect location for that. 2,200 average metals. Not exploitable with our current technology. Okay. I need to go do the research on where the heck to get that technology. MDS laser destroys following meteors in range. Well, that's potentially cool. I don't know where the technology is to do the deep drilling, but now that I know that right there is 2,200 average metals immediately adjacent to where I want to go, that's fantastic. Our scientists believe this an anomaly may lead to a breakthrough. How did we? Oh, we found it. When you scan, you can find anomalies, deep anomalies. So it's a whole nother wave of exploring. That's amazing. Speaking of a whole new wave of exploring, friends, we have at long last. Resources uh, are low. At long, at long, at long. At long last, we have access to the rest of the continent. Huzzah! Let's go scan some anomalies, shall Resources we? Resources are low. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, all right. We're gonna get all the rest of the surface metals with this outer sea transport. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna go scan these anomalies. We're gonna get more anomalies down here. Apparently, we're scanning up for deep metals. I need to figure out where my deep metal extractors are, if that's even like a thing. Rare metals, concrete metals. Yeah, I need the deep metals one. I don't know where the heck that is. It's probably, I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna go look it up. I gotta get some concrete going. We're down to six with like only one functional thing that has a grand total of 146 remaining. Maybe that's gonna be deep concrete. Is that a thing? I don't think so. But concrete's probably the easiest thing. Like right here, I could build like a little uh, little drone hub here, actually, thinking about it. Just run some power over there. That's all I need is a power line. I could put three concrete things here, and I can have a little uh, hub here, and then the drones can fly over there and bring it back. We can get that thing going. What are all these concretes? This is average 500, high 500, another high 500. That'll work for sure. Alternatively, I could build a second tunnel, like right next to this one that goes over here, and that would actually be easier, because then I can just run the power right there. Or, <gasps> look at all this concrete. Average 2600, high 1300, low, that's where I should probably do it. Here's a question. How far can I build this tunnel if I were to build another tunnel, like right here, next to this one? Can I even fit another? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, what about over here or something? Oh, yes, I could build a tunnel right there, and I could make it go here. Well... I guess I could do this one. Or I could put another one there and make it go over there. But then I think the game's gonna be like, oh, tunnels, I don't understand. Too many tunnels. Either way, we can deal with this problem in the next episode for sure. Research is going like crazy. No more homeless, but we also don't have any more youths, but our old guys are getting recycled into new guys with like good traits. Speaking of, we're getting rid of all bad traits now. That's fantastic. People are still getting trained uh, in various professions, even though every single building I have has 1. 100%, even my research lab, 1,003 science, that doesn't make any sense. Why is this so much worse than just oh, small buildings? I don't understand. Uh, over here on this one, this is full with 474, yeah. So this one's like double with more than, way more than double the number of people. I don't know, whatever. Three metals were stolen from Genesis 2. Renegades, unfortunately, are gonna be a problem, but food is fine. Concrete will solve metals we can solve in the near future. ESO Corp's probably going to attack us with these broken drones or whatever that I don't know how I could have fixed. I tried to, but whatever. Maybe I need to send something else down there. Who knows? But yeah, this is like coming along fairly fantastically, if you ask me. I like it. I like it a lot. 
We have all the things we need. 111 metals. We got 31 fuel now. We're building that up. I can even get fueled extractors. Get those things running overtime. Not that I really need them, to be honest. Because we're doing fine over here. Uh, but regardless, 50 polymers. Even, even after building all of these guys, I still have 50. What? We can rip out all these solar panels in the not-too-distant future and stop blowing all those metals on maintenance and just have nothing but a dome full of sterling generators that are closed. That's kind of silly, to be honest. But Wow. And I got four sensor towers, which don't really do very much um, once you get out beyond. I think they're 10% each uh, once they get beyond. Like if I were to come out here, sensor tower, 103. Oh, it shows you. Yeah, 40. 40 is now my minimum on the sensor tower boost. I, w I did all of that before with 10, but I'm currently doing it all with four. You probably want to scan like all of our zones over here. In fact, it looks like I even ran out of places to scan. So let's just... It, I, I know I probably shouldn't be doing these... Uh, these things. Let's just do like all of that. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, look at that little comet. Ah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. When's we returning? Many more things shall happen in probably a shorter episode. This is basically a double episode. I go crazy on these things, but it's so much awesome fun times. At least I enjoy it. But anyways, until the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Extractor extracted its last rare metal. Well, what do you know? Okay, rip it out, I suppose. Interesting. Never actually exhausted an extractor before. That's pretty interesting. Like, I'm interested in this. Would you guys believe it? Because I'm saying I'm interested in it over and over again. Does that make me interested in it? I don't know where I'm going with this.